Hello, thank you for joining me. Now let's start with some failures, but perhaps before that. This is a piece of plexiglass, acrylic glass, PMMA, call it what you want. Uh, it's a material that I'm not really used to working with and as you can see it shows, it does show. So now what this is supposed to be? It's supposed to be a holder for this kind of a, I think they sell it as an automotive, thermometers, doesn't matter. The idea is that this should fit here and just stay. And I have a place for two because this is a piece for another project. And yeah, I'm actually trying to get those rectangles out and I guess this is definitely progress even though it's awful as it is but then again this is not even like a proper piece it's a test piece a scrap that I got for free so I mean no harm done now the funny thing is that yes I'm an idiot using a chisel and a hammer all it did was this no help with the other stuff so yeah, I will try doing it the old school way, just file it away. And yeah, I mean, this actually files by hand quite okay. It's a bit of work, but it works, so I will be updating you as I go with this. And I mean, if I get it to the point where this fits in both of those places, I will actually use it. It's not like this is going to be you know, like a centerpiece, it's just a technical thing to hold thermometers. I mean, the functionality of this is what's important. So yeah, we'll see. And if I break it completely, which is quite possible, I'll probably give up. Though I wanted it to be transparent, but again, this is like cosmetic thing. Just, you know, like not blocking view. I would just do them from PVC, which is my favorite material so far. But yeah, we'll see. There will be more cuts in this video. Alright, good news. Managed to actually not break it. And it just fits in. Not all the way through because of the tabs here. Uh, I think for now I'm happy just the way it is. I mean, the way this is supposed to be mounted is there will be magnets here and if this is an edge of a rack, it will just go this way. So this sticking out may actually be a feature. Now, as for the second window, I am supposed to, you know, take my learnings and do it better. So the next step would be to try to drill out as many holes as close to the lines as possible and I'm already worried about that because of this crack so if I put it in a vise this way or that way I mean will it break? I don't know hopefully not because this so far is usable well the future will tell see you later Okay, I guess that happens to everyone. Well, it must. So, I didn't press the record button. In any case, the first hole is there. The thing is held by the vise. It didn't break anymore. So, now it's just a lot more holes. A lot more holes. Which I will not be recording, because I will not be wasting your time. Alright, and a lot more holes have been done. Now if you think that this is well, the scrap, the chips are from all of that, no no no, I had to clean it like four times in between because it was just overflowing. I mean it's, the mind boggles, it's just you know small holes I think it is like 3 millimeter, or maybe, f no, it's not, it's 3 millimeter in diameter drill, and still 
lots of chips. But the end result, I'm extremely pleased. I mean, just look at that. I mean, yeah, it's outside the border, which is, I don't know, definitely not perfect from the perfectionist point of view. But we'll see how getting this how getting this out will actually go. And given that I might break it even well I may break it. Well that's always a possibility. Why not try actually recording that? Uh, yeah, so you know mess everywhere. Uh, close your ears. So what I found out previously with the first hole is that actually using a knife and just cutting seems to be helping a lot more than I would imagine. Well, I certainly hope there are people who actually know what they're doing with uh, plexiglass that can just be laughing at me right now on the like, simple stuff that I don't know about, which is fine. Because, yeah, I'm learning here. And this is not Hollywood, this is not make-believe, it's documenting what happens. And even though I have an idea of what I want to accomplish, I do not necessarily always know how to approach it, and certainly not how to approach it in the best possible way. Well, the best possible way to over with what you have. Always mind that, you know. If you have a laser cutter, this is just silly, it's busy work. But you know, on that notion, everything is a busy work. I don't think I like the sounds, but... So I've done the first one, which, as you can see, ugly as hell and sharp. I didn't cut myself, but yeah, gloves are good. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we broke this part. So it was inevitable, but we also did this it's probably still salvageable hmm. I mean I can well there will be a tape here anyway so this is not that much of a concern I mean nothing is a concern here let's be honest it's a try it out thing. Hooray! Now, this is pretty awesome. Just compare two of them. I mean, the bottom one, first try, the one above, patience. <coughs> Sorry. So, yeah, it pays off. How broken is this then? Yeah, it's broken here and here. <coughs> oh, apologies again. But yeah, I think we're pretty close. And with some tape backing, I mean here, this should... This could actually work. Alright then. See you in the next cut. Alright. So, lots of filing. I also glued it here, 
so that it actually doesn't break. Didn't glue this part, it's not really that structural. Now, I actually did file the slots for the tabs. Because, yeah, I mean, this is slightly too big, this is slightly too small, you know, exactly as you would expect. Now I have the target equipment here, so let's try putting it in and just see if it's functionally fine. I mean, here the batteries are low, doesn't matter, I'll change them. Now it's just a fitment test. And yeah, I think, I think we're gonna go with the main, it's like the bottom temperature sensor. Don't mind the fact that you don't have the context. That's for later, just let's try to just see. Yeah, well, cables. All right. So yeah, this is the proper orientation. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not falling out, which I guess is all that we need. And now for the second one. If you're wondering, this has a collar because this is actually like on the top, so just for the sun not to shine directly onto it. Yeah, it's gonna work. I'm gonna clean it up, add the magnets here, put the tape in, and I think I'm happy. The greenhouse project will get climate measurements again. I mean, the <laughs> initial version was made out of cardboard, which actually lasted a season, so you can see that this is already orders of magnitude better. And yeah, I mean, I think cleaned up, it's just, you know, like the point is that you just see those things, not the thing that holds them. And yeah, far from perfect, but pretty perfect from afar. I'm happy. Alright, see you in the next card. And today is two days later, but as you can see, finished as promised or cleaned up. Now, let's talk about the magnets. So, as you're probably aware, neodymium magnets very strong, but also very, very brittle and also quite expensive. So, I usually take prudence with, or prudent approach with those magnets. So, as little as possible, you know, as many as actually necessary, which in this case I think the two of them will be fine. And these are like 15 millimeters, so relatively big considering, you know, you can get super small ones. And, uh, yeah, to address the brittleness, I'm actually using, let me show you, this kind of a weird sealing tape, which is like a plastic film, some weird goo, and the adhesive layer. I mean, it is quite soft. I think I bought it as a general frame sealing thing, you know, for doors and windows, etc. So, yeah, one caveat. UV will eat this and basically the film falls off, the goo disappears and all you're left with is the adhesive which is really really labor intensive to get off. So you don't want to do that, I mean it's really awful. But otherwise if it's not in the sun, quite a nice thing. So yeah, this means that you know you can push on those and uh, hopefully they will not break. I mean the blue masking tape because I like the color and uh, yeah this is going to be inside you know side of the rack here and yeah I've changed the batteries everything seems to be working and uh, yeah I think the next cut will be this actually mounted in place because then I will have one thing checked off my to-do list 
And yeah, the greenhouse project. I think pretty much ready for this season. Okay. See you soon. Okay, and here we have the final assembly. And it's quite readable. I've done some basic cable management. Uh, yeah, the, the probes are in their places. And I think now it makes more sense why this one actually needs the collar. Yeah, I will do a separate video about the greenhouse project, but I'll wait for better weather. It's not bad now, but it's going to be much better. Uh, yeah, second season. Thank you for joining me. I hope you found at least parts of it enjoyable. Have a good time of day.